Yo, what's going on guys? And we're talking about the Miami Heat, so right below. First off, only 6% of you guys are subscribed, and we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. So, subscribe for 150 videos a month, and let's get right into it, okay? So, guys, today I want to talk about the Miami Heat, and it's been interesting. It's been an interesting offseason for the Miami squad, and... Look, they lost P.J. Tucker, okay, and they're looking like they're out of reach to acquire either Donovan Mitchell or Kevin Durant because they have limited assets. They brought back Caleb Martin on a very good deal. Victor Oladipo's deal was reasonable. Dwayne Dedman, I liked him returning, and, you know, they kept Duncan Robinson. First off, I thought the signings, you know, giving Marcus Garrett a two-way contract and Darius Days a two-way contract, awesome. You also have, you know, Jamari Boyer from San Francisco and Jamal Cain and Orlando Robinson, all guys who are competing for roster spots, drafted Nikola Jovic. They still have Haywood Highsmith, who's also going to be competing for a roster space. So the, the team is doing what they do well obviously starting lineups probably going to look somewhere along the lines of kyle lowry jimmy butler bam out bio i believe probably max struce sorry i got a text message i think yeah i think they're gonna run jimmy butler at power forward because they don't have a power forward so bam out bio and jimmy butler as the front court then at the wing position which is probably going to be Max Struess and Duncan Robinson with Kyle Lowry at point guard. Tyler Hero is the sixth man. Then you probably run Gabe Vincent and Tyler Hero as the first two. Actually, probably Tyler Hero and Victor Oladipo and Gabe Vincent as the eight-man rotation with Dwayne Dedman and Caleb Martin as in there too. So that's your 10-guy rotation right there. Right off the bench, obviously that's not the bench platoon, but the guys you rotate – Gabe Vincent, Tyler Heroes, the sixth man, obviously. That's it, what I think they're suited. I don't know if they're going to start him because he doesn't play defense. Unless he becomes like a defender, then maybe he does. But right now, I doubt it. So he's sixth man with Victor Oladipo as the seventh man. Eighth man, probably Gabe Vincent or Caleb Martin. Maybe Caleb Martin because he'll rotate in for you know the wing positions. And then you'll have... I don't know who's going to be backup power forward unless they're thinking Caleb Martin or Nikola Jovic. Orlando Robinson's more of a center. Same thing with Year to Seven and Dwayne Dedman. They have four centers in Bam Adebayo, Dwayne Dedman, Omer, Year to Seven, and Orlando Robinson. Then Darius Days could play power forward. So the same thing with Nikola Jovic. You know, the wing position is Robinson, Hero. I mean, Hero also can play the guard position, but they run two wings. Basically, they're going to run three wings, one center, one guard, then sometimes two wings, one center, two guards. And it's going to be interesting because they're not going to really have a prototypical power forward. And Darius Days, he's 6'7", 240. He can play power forward, but... I really do believe that they're going to run Jimmy Butler as their power forward, but they're going to run three wings. And I think Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, and Max Struess as the starting three wings with Kyle Lowry as the only guard and Bam as the center. Then you have the backup unit be Hero playing probably more of a wing position with Victor also playing more of a wing position. You have Gabe Vincent being the backup point guard. Then you run a combination of Caleb Martin at, I guess, as the other wing and backup centers. You have probably primary Dwayne Deadman, then year to seven, and then year to seven can challenge Deadman, and Deadman could become the third center. And Robinson, unless you believe in that three point shot, he's not going to be shooting many threes. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out for them because. First off, I think they're definitely a good team, and they made moves that needed to be done. But don't get me wrong. Losing everything that they did wasn't good, okay? Wasn't ideal. And when I look at this, we need Jimmy Butler to actually hit his three-point shot. I mean, I think in the playoffs, he was way better than what he was, okay? He was way worse 
as a shooter in the regular season. And I know I, I just felt like he was just a more efficient player in the playoffs. I just also think he ran out of gas. And I remember in an interview, I was talking with a guy when I was getting, I was inter being interviewed for a job offer. And we were talking about, isn't that so funny? I just mentioned the NBA and people always want to talk to the NBA with me. It, and especially, it's just funny. It's funny, but, but look, Jimmy, what I need from Jimmy is Jimmy to be efficient. Okay. I think we can all agree with that. Jimmy Butler just needs to, just be decent, you know, and that from shooting from three. Okay. Like just decent. He shot 23%. He for the last three years, he's been a 24% three point shooter basically since being on the heat. Please go back to the 76ers and shoot like 34%. And I think he's been working on it. Shoot 34% league average. And I think That'll be good. He's still a great defender. Bam out of bio. Please develop an offensive game more than outside of the paint and just continue to be that defensive player of the year, caliber player you can. We need Tyler Hero to play defense and continue to be a good scorer. That's fine. Marcus Garrett, I think he'll be the breakout star of this year. Nikola Jovic, I know, I know, I know you're a young league, but we need you to have some impact. Caleb Martin, Hi Haywood Highsmith, Struz Vincent, you guys all need to be good. Year to seven, same thing. We need you guys to play good. Struz, replace Duncan Robinson or Duncan Robinson, please return to being a playable player. That's what we're hoping. Gabe Vincent, continue to take those next steps. Victor Oladipo, please regain your form. Start to play like how we saw it sometimes in the playoffs. Caleb Martin, continue developing in the trajectory you have as a good 3 and D wing. And then Nikola Jovic, okay, like, I think, again, going back to the thought, I mean, he's going to have to play power forward more than point guard. But again, I think Marcus Garrett's going to be the guy who breaks out for them and people are going to be like, how did this guy break out? Because, like, like, look, I think... And I think like, oh, my girlfriend's texting me. My girlfriend's texting me about fake tan, sorry. She's being a cunt. She's not really being a cunt. I love you, babe. Plus she's never gonna hear this. She doesn't real like, yeah. And she just asked me if they buy something, and I'm like, yo, I have an extra one. But that's basically the video, guys. We wrapped it up here. Again, only 6% of you are watching. I do love y'all guys, and yeah, I think this team's definitely a top five seed. I think it's just be interesting what the hell happens here. I don't know what's going to, but hey, that's basically it. I have an NBA show Monday through Friday. I also need to make an NFL video. Because I haven't in a few days. So go check out my NFL channel. I'll make an NFL video. Check out my NBA show Monday through Friday. Link in the description. Follow me on social media. DM me with anything. If you have any video ideas, I'll make them. Just follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Same as my YouTube channel name. It's my fucking name, Ciro Seo. Multiple people don't realize that. That's my name, Ciro Seo. Ciro de Coq. But bye.